you're gonna know the signs of those people who are toxic around you that way you will not be able to be influenced by those people and you know how to deal with them Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ultra. This is Feed the Mind TV. If this is the first time that you visit my channel, you need to press the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. So what are the signs of toxic people to watch out for? Number 1. Self-centeredness. These are the people who lack interest in others. Gusto lang nila, sarili lang. It is similar to selfish, being selfish. They normally talk about themselves and show very little regard for others. Ganun yung pag-uugali ng mga self-centered na tao. And the bad thing about this kind of behavior is they always turn the conversation back to themselves whenever possible. And that is really hard for them to find friendship, to build friendship around. These are the people na ang gusto lang nila is yung sila lang yung pag-uusapan. Sila lang yung bida sa mga usapan. And that is a sign of a toxic people. That is a sign that it's really hard for them to build a friendship. Next is, they judge others. They tend to keep judging other people's attitude, other people's personality. They judge others through their appearance, their job, their family background, financial situation, relationship and all. So these are the people who is really good in terms of criticizing others. At hindi nakikita yung mali nila. Yung ibang tao, dun sila magaling. Ang mag-criticize ng other people instead of themselves. So if you know someone who has that kind of attitude, that kind of character, then you know that is a sign of a toxic people. And you can advise them not to be like one kasi pwedeng hindi nila alam yun. So at least we will be able to help them in terms of knowing na ay iba na pala yung ugali ko. Nagiging toxic na pala siya. Another one is giving unsolicited advice. Kung saan nga yung hindi kailangan yung advice niya, dun din siya nagbibigay. And the bad thing about this is hindi siya nakakatulong yung advice niya. In fact, nakakasama yung advice niya. And here comes this kind of people na magbibigay ng advice at ang sasabihin sa iyo is nakakalungkot talaga yung nasa ganyang sitwasyon. Ako nga dati, munti ka na akong magpakamatay. So it's not actually a very good advice. You're just making him or her feel bad about the situation. Hindi nakakatulong yung advice mo. So yung mga ganyang advice, it's not welcome. But then again, andyan pa rin yung ganong tao na magbibigay ng advice. Yun nga lang, pangit na advice. That's their habit. That's their character. Giving unsolicited advice. So you better watch out for those kind of people. Next thing is, they always give gossip. They always talk about other people's lives. The reason behind that is, if that person is unhappy, he or she will develop a habit of focusing on others instead of himself. And they take information or make up lies about other people in an effort to hurt their reputation. I'm not really sure kung alam ba nila yun, kung sinasadya ba nila, or they feel satisfied kung nakakasakit sila ng ibang tao. Next is constant negativity. So that person always talk about negative things, even though na hindi naman dapat. So if you heard yourself saying negative things about something na tingin mo hindi mo dapat gawin, you have to stop yourself doing it. You have to make sure that you are aware na ano ba yung posibleng mangyari after. Magiging gaito ba ako or hindi? By knowing these signs, before ka maging ganong klaseng tao, you have to stop it. And it's not yet too late for all of us. Number six, constant criticism. It is like habitual criticism to others. Nagiging hobby niya na yung pag-criticize ibang tao. May madaanan lang siyang ibang tao, i-criticize na niya. These are the people na their day will not be complete without criticizing other people. They feel bad kung hindi sila nakapag-criticize ng isang tao. Nagiging habit na nila that kind of attitude. 
And once they did not criticize someone for just one day, baka nilalagnat sila. Ganun sila. It is what it is. Hindi yung direct na i-insultuhin ka. No, they use jokes and backhanded compliments to insult you. Sometimes they use sarcasm and other words to insult you. Na minsan, hindi alam nung isang tao na iniinsulto na pala siya. And having this kind of people, normally sila yung may mga isip. Sila yung akala mo matalino. But they have this negative side which is toxic. And insulting people using jokes and backhanded compliment, yun yung gusto nila. Doon sila magaling. Doon sila matalino. They became backfighter and kawawa yung taong ginagano nila. So if you know someone like that, you have to watch out for those kind of people. Do not let yourself be like them. Stay away from those people. Number eight, excluding others. Ayaw nila na mapasama sa kanila yung ganitong klaseng tao. Gusto nila sila sila lang. Kasi nga hindi sila pwede sa ibang tao eh. Because of their attitude. And that's why they exclude others na hindi nila kaparehas na ugali. Number nine, reluctant to return the favor. Once they did something good for you, expect mo na mag-aantayan ng kapalit. Kailangan may maibigay kang favor in return sa ginawa nila. Ganun yung mentality ng mga ganitong klaseng tao. Hindi pwedeng libre sa kanila yun. Lahat yun may kapalit ng ginawa nila. For them, giving advice, helping you, dapat bayaran mo. May pagka-business minded ang mga to. Bawal utang. Kailangan bayad. And number 10, they are really good in manipulating others. Sometimes, magaling sila magpaaway ng ibang tao. Gumawa ng kwento. They have this expertise in terms of manipulating people around them. Sila yung mga tao na kakampi niya yung isa, kakampi niya din yung isa. So nasa kanya kung gusto niyang pag-awayan. He knows or she knows how to manipulate others based on his or her interest. Kung ano yung hidden agenda niya. Kung ano yung mas pabor sa kanya. So that's how good that person is in terms of manipulating people. So do not let yourself be manipulated by this kind of toxic people na meron tayo. Madami yan ngayon. I'm telling you. So by knowing all the signs of toxic people to watch out for, we will be able to take good care of our personality. We will be able to be aware na kailangan nating mag-ingat. So by knowing all the signs to watch out for sa isang toxic na tao, this will really help us in terms of how we will be able to deal with this kind of people. How we will be able to overcome yung gantong klaseng tao and for us not to be influenced by them. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Altred. This is Fit the Mind TV.